American Pickers alum Frank Fritz's battle with Crohn's and broken back led to painkiller addiction before deadly stroke. The fan favorite last appeared on American Pickers in March 2020 to undergo back surgery. He was officially fired from the series in 2021. In an interview with People, Mike, 59, revealed Frank's struggle with opioid addiction and how he was let go from the series when he was unable to provide negative drug tests. A source exclusively claimed to the U.S. Sun how Frank's substance abuse battle began. That's when he got addicted to pain medication, the insider claimed. Crohn's is a bowel disease that causes inflammation in the digestive tract. The source alleged that Frank went to rehab twice to combat his addiction issues. In a July 2021 interview with the U.S. Sun, Frank revealed he entered treatment for alcohol abuse at the Abbey Center in Bettendorf, Iowa, for 77 days. Frank said at the time, I went to rehab, and I've been sober now for 11 months. I didn't like drinking anymore. My mom was an alcoholic, and she died five years ago, and it was alcohol-related. My grandfather was an alcoholic, and he died. That didn't sit well with me. Frank said of his time in treatment, they gave me a lot of information, and we were booked up for 13 or 14 hours a day. There was no sitting around watching TV or eating food. You were scheduled out for an hour, then an hour and a half, all through the day. They really give you a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. I read 12 self-help books while I was there. I didn't asterisk asterisk around. I really got into it. I went there to learn and get the most out of it that I possibly could. I had a great time there, and I helped other people who were having problems too. It's one of the best things that have happened to me. Frank went to meetings twice a week when he got out. If it weren't for a relapse, he would have been sober for a year at the time of the interview, he said. It was maybe for four hours, but it was enough, Frank said of the relapse. The next day, I went to a meeting, and I got right back on track. I don't think I'll ever have a drink again, because I don't like the feeling anymore, and some of the dumb things that I did. Frank added, I'd still like to get back to my job. I miss my friends and my people, and being on the road, and meeting all those different characters. But Mike announced Frank's firing from the series soon after. I have known Frank for as long as I can remember. He's been like a brother to me. The journey that Frank, Danny, and I started back in 2009, like all of life, has come with its highs and lows, blessings and challenges. But it has also been the most rewarding, he wrote. The support that you all have given us has been a constant reminder of what the show's message has always been. Through these places, people and things we all have a common thread. We're here to not only take care of the past, but also each other. I will miss Frank, just like all of you, and I pray for the very best and all good things for him on the next part of his journey. During Frank's 2021 interview with the U.S. Sun, he also went into his feud with longtime co-star and friend Mike. Frank said at the time, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. The show is tilted towards him 1,000%. I can't even bend that far down to show you how much. That's fine. It's like you've got Aerosmith, and there's Steven Tyler, and he's the front man. I found my spot. I'm second, and he's number one on the show. That's no problem with me. Maybe he does have a problem. Frank then said it would be hard to put the show on after not talking to somebody for two years. Frank added, I'm just trying to get through life like everybody else and be as happy as I possibly can. Life is what you put into it. If you don't put much into it, you don't get a lot out of it. During Mike's interview with People, he explained how during the pandemic, Frank injured his back while moving items around his Iowa home and underwent surgery. With that time off and him having surgery, it was like the perfect storm. 
he became addicted to opioids, and that's when everything changed. Mike said, Here's the deal. I don't have the right to tell his story. Only he does. But I do have, I feel, the right to tell the personal story of how myself and so many people struggled to navigate what was going on in his life. Mike said he staged an intervention with Frank's loved ones. I remember running into him like a month later, Mike said. He said he was just going to handle everything on his own, and I asked him how he was doing. He said, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, I'm really fine. And then like a month later, he was gone. And so watching Frank doing some of the things that he was doing, it was really hard. But Mike claims Frank continued to struggle with addiction when filming started, as they fought really hard to get him into rehab. And he never, ever gave up on his friend. Mike claimed production asked Frank for negative drug tests, but he didn't provide them. Mike said the network just finally made the decision, despite the star's mixed emotions about doing that. Despite the firing and feud, the two ultimately made up. As Mike said of the reunion, it was beautiful. He was struggling with addiction. I know how judgmental the public can be. And so that's why when we did end up speaking again, it was so easy for me to forgive him because I knew it wasn't him talking. It was his addiction talking. In July 2022, Frank suffered a stroke at his Iowa farmhouse. Frank's close friends filed a guardianship and conservatorship for him soon after because his decision-making capacity was so impaired. He remained in rehabilitation until his death on September 30, 2024. Mike told people of Frank's final moments, I got the call that he wasn't doing well. I just feel blessed that I was able to get there. I was there for about an hour before he passed, and I was holding his hand and rubbing his chest when he took his last breath. I took my fingers, and I closed his eyes. I just told him that I wasn't mad at him, and that I loved him, and that I cared about him so much. And then, when I could see that he was struggling, I just said, just go find your mom. Go find her right now. Just go find her. Mike said of his friend, he was an extremely hard worker. He was like no one I'd ever met in my whole life. He was a beautiful, beautiful person that, to be honest with you, who knows what our lives would have been like if there was never a show. I just want people to know who he was. Frank appeared on American Pickers from 2010 to 2020. Frank Fritz, a beloved figure from American Pickers, wasn't just known for his keen eye for hidden treasures and antiques. Behind the scenes, his life told a story far more harrowing than anything seen on the show. It was a tale of resilience and pain, of overcoming battles both internal and external, that culminated in a series of devastating setbacks, a severe bout with Crohn's disease, a back injury that shattered his physical strength, and a relentless struggle with painkiller addiction that ultimately led to a stroke that threatened his life. Frank's journey began long before American Pickers made him a household name. Diagnosed with Crohn's disease in his early 20s, he was no stranger to chronic pain. Crohn's, an inflammatory bowel disease, wreaks havoc on the digestive tract, causing severe abdominal pain, weight loss, fatigue, and other life-altering symptoms. It wasn't easy for Frank to put on a brave face while scouring dusty barns and forgotten storage spaces for antique gems, but he did. Each smile on camera, every laugh shared with co-star Mike Wolf, was often a triumph over the searing, unrelenting pain inside.